we have issued uh, restriction orders against uh, two persons under the Internal Security Act. One is a religious teacher, Murad. He was teaching, promoting violence. He was teaching his followers that violence is, uh, in fact, compulsory. It's compulsory to kill non-believers, not just non-Muslims, but also Sufis, Shiites, uh, Muslims who have renounced Islam. And he was telling his followers uh, it is uh, that they were allowed to defend themselves by waging armed jihad against infidels. So violence again. And he also encouraged his students to withdraw from secular society, um, disregard the laws of the country. Moise cancelled his uh, ARS uh, last year, in May of last year. But then he went online. He didn't stop. Uh, he, and, you know, online there's a potential to influence so many more, more easily through social media. And that could have led to students, followers, uh, developing very extremist views because people go to a religious teacher to understand what uh, religion is, learn from him. And he is saying, yeah, go and kill non-Muslims and withdraw from society. And indeed, the second person against whom the restriction order has been issued, uh, Razali, was uh, Murad's student. And Razali, I mean, it took a period, but eventually became convinced that it was legitimate to kill others whom he felt were oppressors of Islam, including non-Muslims and Shiites. So this sort of propagation of violence, uh, you know, this it often starts with these sorts of religious teachers. We have been very strict about it. Uh, we have said across all religions, promote your religion, but you cannot promote violence. You cannot run down another religion. You cannot run down another race. And the vast majority of our people, as well as religious leaders, understand that, which is why Singapore is the oasis of a racial and religious harmony that it is when compared with many parts of the world.